Before we start, I just want to give a special thanks to my first couple of patrons and let you guys know that I did get approved for memberships on YouTube, which I think is a lot more convenient for everyone. Basically, if you don't know, uh, memberships on YouTube is basically YouTube's version of Patreon. So it works pretty much the same. You can sign up in different tiers and become a member of this channel. So yes, the reopening of my Patreon was short-lived, but every perk that was available on there is now available if you become a member on my channel. You should see a join button under this video, and for 99 cents a month, you will receive early access to every one of my uploads, access to my new Discord server, and member exclusive uploads, of which I will be doing at least one a month. And the first one is available now, and it is my ranking of all your favorite villains from American Horror Story. So if you want to watch that video, you can sign up for as little as 99 cents right now and watch that video and get early access to every one of my uploads, get your name credited in videos, and access to my Discord server. So like I said, you will be credited in every one of my videos while you're a member. So those are the three major perks that I have made available at all price points. But if you do feel inclined to contribute a little bit more to this channel, there is a $4.99 tier. And if you join that tier, you will receive even earlier access to videos uh, three days in advance as opposed to one, along with every other perk I just mentioned and discounted merchandise. And then if you are super generous, you can join the last tier for $14.99 and receive top billing in the credits of all my videos, along with every other perk. But now on with the video. With the 10th season of American Horror Story finally going into production at the end of this month, I figured now is the last chance for me to go through all the fan theories before we actually start getting set leaks and potentially a theme reveal pretty soon. So in my last AHS video, I asked you guys for your best theories, and that is exactly what we will be going over today, so let's begin. Theory number one, AHS in mouth. So I did get a lot of comments pertaining to this in many different variations. This one specifically comes from a commenter saying, As you've noticed, many people have tied the idea of dangers of the water to the Cthulhu. Truth is, if that were the case and Shadow over In's mouth was some sort of inspiration, then the aliens would fit right into that because aliens do exist in the same world as Cthulhu. Okay, so personally, I am not very well versed in this stuff, but I've done some research after receiving a bunch of comments about this, so here's some background. Innsmouth is a fictional town in Massachusetts created by author H.P. Lovecraft and is featured in his 1936 story titled The Shadow over Innsmouth. The Cthulhu is a cosmic entity in the world of H.P. Lovecraft's writings. It takes the shape of an octopus, a dragon, or a human form. So the reason that a lot of people are theorizing about this connection is that AHS-10 was initially supposed to be filmed in Massachusetts earlier this year, before the pandemic delayed production to this month. It is unclear whether or not production will resume in Massachusetts, but I am starting to doubt that it will at this current moment. There's still a possibility that they will film a majority of it in LA, and then later on they will uh, send a team to Massachusetts to get certain shots. That is still a possibility. But anyway, we do know that the season is still the same theme as it was back when production was supposed to start. So if that Massachusetts connection was a reference to Innsmouth, those references will still be in the show, and it may even still take place in Massachusetts, even if it's all filmed in Los Angeles, of course. I think this theory is really interesting, especially if this does open up the, the possibility of aliens returning to AHS. I know we go through this every single season with theories about aliens coming back and then no aliens end up coming back. But honestly, at this point, it wouldn't be a theory video if we weren't talking about aliens. It's all so many people have had in their minds since season two, so. But anyway, with this theory in mind, I'm currently picturing the season playing out similar to a Cloverfield ARG, and that's something that I am very into. But moving on. Theory number two, The Lighthouse. Another commenter stated that the black and white cast reveal video had me thinking of The Lighthouse. Sirens, black and white footage, stranded on a small island, and so on. Now, if you recall, this actually was my first theory back when the cast was first revealed. I still think it would be really great if the season did take some inspiration from that film. The isolation, cabin fever, hallucinations, and tone in The Lighthouse could easily mix with AHS. It would definitely make for a standout season. Theory number three, Uncharted Territory. This theory is based on Sarah Paulson stating that the season is going into, quote, uncharted territory. It's something, obviously, that's never been done before. This is not so far a season. As far as I know, I've only read two of the scripts. My opinion is that it's uncharted territory. You know how sometimes 
we do like Coven and then in Apocalypse, those characters came back, right? Yes. So this season is not that, I can tell you that. Okay. It's totally new. But as you know, there are some actors from earlier seasons that are coming, which is great. Yes. It is my understanding, and this is all I'm going to say, and I hope Ryan won't kill me, that this season is going to be broken up in a way that has never happened before. Oh, my gosh. And that's all I can say. Bryony commented and said, my theory is that the uncharted territory that Paulson is talking about will be that each character has a whole episode focusing on them. It would make sense since there are 10 main cast members. Personally, I think this is an interesting one. I'm not sure exactly how that would work pacing wise and what exactly the plot thread would be from start to finish if we're switching focus on the characters, but who knows to what extent. But this is this is one of the few ideas I've seen commented regarding exactly what Sarah means by uh, uncharted territory, especially pertaining to the episodic structure. I'm super intrigued by this and so many other aspects of this season. But another theory about this uncharted territory comes from Kate, who says that uh, Sarah was making a sort of pun to hint at the ocean theme. This could very well be what she was hinting at with those specific words, but she also did specifically hint at a change in the episodic formula. So I do think uh, that hint was a little bit more than just a hint to the theme. But more on this, Matt said, uh, what if the way season 10 is split into different parts is based off the different mythical monsters? This could also be cool, and maybe each episode revolving around a different creature in a cursed beach town. That would be a really surprising way to broaden the lore of the AHS universe. And honestly, every theory about this season is pointing towards a super unique, unlike any other season of AHS. Theory number four, Creature from the Black Lagoon. Another commenter said that the season may draw from the 1954 film Creature from the Black Lagoon. As the title implies, the film is about an aquatic monster. Probably like 95% of these theories regarding season 10 pertain to some sort of variation of a sea monster, whether it be mermaids, sirens, Nessie, or the Creature from the Black Lagoon. And then the other 5% are about aliens. So uh, in this video, which could easily be a fake out, Sarah Paulson doesn't confirm, but she also doesn't deny the rumor that the season will involve creatures such as sea monsters or aliens. My prediction, the time has come for aliens and we're about to get full on Area 51 storyline for AHS season 10. I played the fifth. Everyone's gonna think that's me confirming it. I just think it's possible. How about that? I think that is possible. I'm gonna get in so much trouble. All right, so those are my favorite fan theories that you guys have left in my last video. Be sure to give this video a like and let me know which ones you agree with and what other theories you may have. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, subscribe for more AHS 10 news and I will see you next time.